Hey, hey, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the Executive Director of Book Riot. I'm here with five great books to watch for this month. First up, this one is already out, so you don't even have to wait. It is Virgin and Other Stories by April Ayers Lawson. This is a phenomenal debut collection of short stories. They're set in the American South, and the characters and the stories really live in the tension between American culture and devout Christian culture. These are stories about sexuality, about identity, about relationships, about keeping secrets. They are riveting. You're going to love them. Next up, coming out on November 15th, one of the big books of the year, big, big book for fall. This is Swing Time by Zadie Smith. It's about two black girls in London who both dream of becoming dancers, but only one of them has talent. The other has big ideas about rhythm, about time, about black bodies and black music. They have a complex, very close friendship that ends in their early 20s, but that defines the rest of their life. And that's what the book is about. November 15th. Also out November 15th, this is Scrappy Little Nobody, a memoir by Anna Kendrick. I love Anna Kendrick. I have been trying to learn how to do that cups thing from Pitch Perfect for like three years. This is a terrific sort of memoir in essays about her life performing. She started on Broadway very young. She was in Annie and then eventually got involved in movies and was in Up in the Air and the Twilight movies and a whole bunch of other things. And this is about what performing means to her, how acting has defined her life, the risks that she took as a young person to leave home, to move to New York, and then to move to Hollywood. It's really wonderful, so much fun. If you like her on Twitter, you're gonna love the book. Again, November 15th. Another one for November 15th. This has been sneaking up on me and I haven't had a chance to take a look at it yet. It's The Clothing of Books by Jhumpa Lahiri. This is a personal reflection about book jackets, about what they mean to writers, what they mean to readers, about the relationship between text and image. I didn't know it was coming out until recently. I just came across it in a catalog. I don't know why the publisher is being kind of quiet about it. I wish that I could have seen a copy already. I'm gonna pick it up on November 15th. I think she's such an interesting thing thinker and I'm really looking forward to seeing how she explores this aspect of books that we don't talk about very much. So again, The Clothing of Books, November 15th. And last but not least, this is Searching for John Hughes or Everything I Thought I Needed to Know About Life. I learned from watching 80s movies. It's by Jason Diamond. He grew up obsessed with John Hughes 80s movies and thought that he was going to set out to write the definitive John Hughes biography. He had no qualifications, no experience, didn't really know anything about writing, about researching, about how he was going to do this, but he moves to New York to try to do it. And it's an epic quest that turns him into a writer. Jason now works for Rolling Stone. Um, full disclosure, we're friends, he's great. Uh, and this book, the idea of the definitive memoir of John Hughes was discarded. The book became a memoir about Jason's life, about growing up, about finding out who he was as a person and as a writer. It's a lot of fun, it's very touching. There are some tough, sad parts. Uh, if you like pop culture, if you think about how pop culture shapes our lives and our relationship with pop culture shapes the way we look at the world, you're gonna love this, November 29th. Okay, those are my picks for November, but there are a ton more great books coming out this month, so be sure to let me know what your picks are in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to click on subscribe to stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.